I'm back with another cranberry. I got cranberry apple this time. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You already know what it is. It's Marshala Monique. And I'm here today. Some silk press vibes going on. Feel me? Mother Bay. <laughs> but yeah, y'all got my hair messed. <laughs> my hair need to cut because I cut all my hair off. Um, last year last april last april or may or something like that and like i had a lot of dead ends and it really needed cut like really bad so yeah let's see but i was asleep i don't know if y'all could tell and then i had to record this video and this is saturday night i'm in the crib and but i really wouldn't be at walmart so so Today, I'm going to tell y'all about the two times that I got scammed. Yeah, I got scammed. So the first time, well, first of all, let me tell y'all this. Once y'all hear these stories, y'all going to be like, you're dumb. Because they could have easily been avoided. It's just me just not, not thinking. So yeah, I'm going to tell you about the two times I got scammed. I got scammed by some over somebody overseas for four hundred dollars and then i got scammed this is going to sound so sick that i got scammed by someone in my city for fifteen dollars girl ran off with fifteen dollars you know i was talking to my friend the other day and i was telling her this story kind of and she was all she was all like you're mad over fifteen dollars yes i want to be mad over a dollar of my hard-earned money like it's my money and I need it now. Period. So, before I get started, I just wanted to ask, how are y'all doing? What is your mental health like, bro? What's going on with you? Update me. Update me on y'all lives. I want to know what y'all be getting into, what y'all be doing and shit. So yeah, let me know. So, anyways, I need to stop punching over like this. Like when I can order my back, it won't be like. Mm -hmm. I look into the story. So, the first time I got scammed was back in 2017 or 18. What month was that? 2017. I think so. I think it was 2017. And so, this is this is what happened. It was just a regular, regular day. You feel me? Woke up. Went. To, where did we go? I went like. When I first got up to my school, I had like a little group of friends or whatever. And I'm only I only talked to one of them now, my best friend, period. Um, but we had like a little group of friends. I think that day we like went out to Walmart or Target or something. So that day someone I'm not gonna say their name. Someone had sent me fifty dollars on Facebook, like it's like Facebook like Facebook has a thing where you can like send money like Cash App kinda. So Someone sent me $50. I don't remember why. It might have been for the phone bill or something. I don't know. Someone sent me $50. And um, when they sent the money, it took me a while to realize uh, that the I had the wrong debit card on there. Now that I think about it, it didn't even matter. Eventually, like I realized it didn't even matter. So they sent me the money and I'm like, oh, shit. I got the wrong debit card on, like, this one goes to the wrong card. Keep in mind, I didn't realize this until, like, an hour after they sent the money. So, I'm like, oh, like, it's not going to go into the right card, da, da, I'm trying to change the card and all this, but the money already processed, and that person told me that they took the money out of their account already. So, I'm like, oh, shoot. So, I'm like, I have to call Facebook customer service. And keep in mind, this scam that I'm about to tell you about is a scam that is kind of, like, known worldwide now. Like, when it happened to me, it wasn't really something that, uh that people knew about but now it's like a scam that happens all the time they usually target younger people and older people anyways so i'm like oh i gotta call facebook customer service so i'm like trying to find our customer service i send them an email actually because there was like 
it was like a contact us email so i sent them a little email and i told them like hey like it's not a third like i put in the wrong card whatever whatever and um i didn't get a response like quick enough i don't i, I don't think i don't think i desperately needed that 50 dollars. i really didn't i just didn't want it to go to the wrong card and the money disappeared and then me i'm out of 50 dollars, and that person's out of 50 dollars. so i'm like i gotta figure something out so um i go on google and i type in Facebook customer service phone number because I'm like I need to talk to somebody ASAP period I need to talk to somebody ASAP so um I found this number I called the number and I explained to them well someone answers and they're foreign and honestly I don't have nothing against foreign people but it's like when someone calls me and they're like foreign and I can't understand like I feel like I'm getting set up that's kind of a stereotype honestly but it's just like I have that stereotype I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to get into this. I don't want to offend no one. I'm just... <laughs> anyway, so I call and they're foreign. And I t break down the situation. I'm like, yeah, like, I just have the wrong card number on there. Da, 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 da. Um, I just need to switch the car so that I can get the money. And they're like, okay, I can help you with that. Um, but they're like, just to let you know, um, Apple did buy Facebook and in order for us to access your account we need to do an Apple ID verification so I'm like okay what does that mean I'm like so in order for us to access your account you have to go to your local store and get a $25 iTunes card like wait what they're like yeah Apple bought Facebook and I should have Googled it right there in the right there in the moment, but I was just so whatever. But they're like, yeah, um, Apple bought Facebook, so we're owner we own Facebook now. Um, I actually work for Apple, so just um in order for us to access your account, you need to get this iTunes card. So I'm like, What? I go get an iTunes card, right? I saw my friends like, yeah, like they don't even know about I just gotta get an iTunes card so they can verify my account. Um, because they're owned by Apple now. You know me. I'm, I believed it. So I'm like, yeah, like I just gotta get a little iTunes card, like, whatever. So I go to Giant Eagle and I get a twenty five dollar iTunes card, and I had her on hold this whole time because she was like, you can't hang up the phone because if you hang up, this cancels the whole process and whatever, whatever. So I'm like, all right, cool. Like I'm not going to wear on this. This is store. Get twenty five dollar iTunes card. Um, I get back in the phone, I'm like, yeah, like I got the card. She's like, okay, so we can move forward with the process and then we can, we'll be able to access your account. I'm like, okay, cool. I give her the iTunes, I re read off the numbers, everything's clear, whatever, whatever. And um, she's like, okay, um, so now we can verify your account. Um, what's your email address, uh, your password? My email address and my password have nothing to do with this scam. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. It has nothing to do with this scam. So I'm like, okay, verify or whatever. And she's like, okay, so I'm gonna send you to the billing department um, and they'll be able to help you moving forward with your card information, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, like, oh, I'm, I'm about to get my bread, period. They transfer me to the billing department and I get to the billing department and they're like, oh, okay, so in order for us to access, in order for us to access the billing on your account, I'm gonna need you to go to the store again. You're gonna have to get a fifty dollar iTunes card. I'm like, I just got a, I just got a different iTunes card for Shorty. I just talked to, and they're like, no, actually, um, every, um, this will be the like, this will be the last time you have to get it. Um, just go to the store, get the iTunes card. We'll stay on the phone. Keep in mind, foreign as well. Stay on the phone, um, so that this doesn't cancel the process because we have to do this all again. I'm like. I'm still it's still not it's still not processing y'all i go to the store again get a 50 dollar joint i want to like all right boom like i got the 50 dollar like i got the 50 dollar uh iTunes card i read off the numbers to you whatever <laughs> i'm so stupid i'm so stupid read off the numbers to them he's like okay perfect so we can verify um your billing they're like okay so actually i'm gonna send you to a different department because I have verified your billing, but now we need to verify um, your address, et cetera, et cetera. I'm like, y'all can't do that here. They're like, no, I'm gonna, sorry. I'm gonna have to transfer you to someone else. I'm like, okay. So I get to this next apartment. 
to verify my address and my email verify my email address or verify something else i get to them like oh hey like we um we have your name um uh all we need to do is verify your address email address and you're good to go i'm like okay cool They're like but um in order for us to be able to access your billing um and everything else we're gonna have to ask you to get another itunes card another itunes card and i was like okay how much she was like i'm sorry but it's gonna have to you're gonna have to get a hundred dollar itunes card <laughs> i'm so dumb bro so i'm like so at this point i'm starting to quite i'm starting to question but my dumb ass i'm still doing it so i'm starting to question like this isn't making sense like why do i have to keep getting these cars i don't understand like it's because we're owned under apple and like we want to protect your safety so just to let you know at the end of this whole process you're going to get all your money back and then we're going to give you a can we're going to give you a um want to pay you an extra hundred dollars just for the convenience just for the inconvenience we're going to give you extra hundred dollars i'm like oh okay cool like that makes that makes more sense so like yeah like we're going to give you all of your money back we just needed to get these so we can verify because you know like we said apple owns facebook now i'm like all right cool hundred dollars i'll go i'll go grab it go grab hundred dollars read it off whatever they're like all right cool so we can verify your address is boom whatever whatever i'm like yeah they're like okay so next we're going to send you to um uh processing some type, what did they send me to some type of processing they're like okay this is the final step keep in mind now i'm at i'm out of a 225 dollars at this point so 125 gift card 120 started off with the 25 dollar gift card the second two gift cards were 100 dollar gift cards and now they're like okay we have to send you to um send you to billing so that we can verify everything and we'll get you like good to go they sent me to the last process where i just like i'm supposed to confirm everything so i get to the last process and they're like okay um you got your last process and um all you have to do the last thing you have to do is just go get um 200 more dollars worth of gift cards in order for us to you have to get 200 dollars in order for us to verify everything confirm everything your address and all that and be able to actually press send once i verify everything i'll get all my money back i'll get the 50 dollars, and i'll get the inconvenience fee this is what they're telling me and i'm like look i don't have 200 dollars to give y'all right now and they're like i'm sorry like you're gonna have to get to 200 dollars." i was like isn't there anyone you can call to like give you 200 dollars?" i was like no i'm out of all this i'm out of 225 dollars i'm in college all i got is four or five hundred dollars to my name and they're like okay like you can't call a family member or like a friend to like get you the money because like I'm sorry, but like, if you don't get us this two hundred dollars in these iTunes gift cards, all this is going to go down the drain. And I'm like, I don't understand. Like, I'm not understanding at all. Like, this isn't making sense to me. I'm giving y'all all this money, and I really hope that I'm getting it back. But I was like, I don't have two hundred dollars to give y'all. I had like, no, actually, I had like a hundred and fifty dollars left. So, what did I do? I asked my best friend if I could borrow fifty fucking dollars, so that I can go get these other two hundred dollar gift cards. And I'm sitting at this point, like I'm crying because before I even asked her for the money, like I'm crying. Like my friends had got on the phone, they're like, "This isn't making sense. Like, why are y'all telling her to get all these gift cards? Um, she doesn't really have money. Like, we're not understanding why you can't just verify her account and send her the." send her put the money on a different card and they're like we can't do that like like we told you facebook is owned by apple now so she has to get these cards in order for us to do anything and so they're telling us all the same thing so i'm finally i'm like can i talk to like a manager or something and keep in mind like i said they're all foreign so i'm asking for names and they're giving me american names like you can take down my name like you can take down my name you can trust me and i'm like okay and i'm telling y'all like i was so oblivious it's not even funny like 
They're telling me these American names. And I get to speak to the manager and ask him his name. And he, he says, like, John or something. But he clearly has a strong foreign accent. His name was probably, like, Punjab or something. I don't know. But um, I'm talking to him. And I'm like, look, like, I understand, like, y'all are owned by Apple now. But, like, I can't give y'all this money. Um, I'm like, I understand. I'm going to get everything back. But I just, I don't have it to give. Like, I don't have $200 to give y'all. And they're like, look, if you can find the $200, we'll give you for your inconvenience instead of giving you an extra hundred dollars we'll give you 200 extra dollars like that's what we could do for you and as a manager i'm going to give you an extra 200 dollars on top of everything we're already giving you back so i'm like i'm crying still crying like, I'm like i don't know what to do i'm like i don't have 200 dollars to give them but like they're telling me they're going to give me everything back and i've told my best friend i was like look i'm 50 dollars short like could you just give me $50? I'll, like, I'll give it back. Like they said, they're giving me the money back. And the money's going to take 30 minutes to process. Whatever, whatever. And still talking to the manager. Still trying to get him to give me some other like option to do. And he's like, look, I'll give you my badge number. And he's like, I would never. I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm getting, I said, I feel like I'm getting scammed. And he's like, I would never, ever do that to anyone. I would never scam anyone he was like look i'll give you my badge number he's like look i have a family like i would never scam you like i know this is hard for you but like really just try to get this 200 dollars because if you don't all this this process is going to end and if you want to get your money back you have to go through this all again and you have to get gift cards all again and i'm like okay i asked my best friend for the money read them off the 200 dollar gift cards and literally i read them off these gift cards and they hung up on me so we were able to call them back and keep them on the phone and we went to the police station like went to the police station because they said that they got disconnected somehow some some way somehow but i was able to call them back this time so we're like, no, nah, we gonna need to go to the police station because they're not trying to give you your money back. So I, when I called them and I said, hey, like, I was just on the phone, like, I needed an extra verification. They were like, oh, in order for us to pull that up, we need another $100 gift card. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Because at this point, I'm at $425 down the drain. And so we're like, no, nah, like, forget that. Like, we're going to the police station. We're taking them to the police. Like, so we drive, like, 30 minutes to the police station, get to the police station, and the police station is closed. They're not trying to let us in. Like, there's no one at the police station. And so there was like a phone outside the police station. So like, I told them like what happened, like I'm getting scammed. And they're all like, you need to go to your local police station, which was one in like our little town, which we didn't think of. Like we wanted to go to like, like a big um, police station that like was part of a borough. So we go back to our little town by school and we go to that police station. I'm filing a police report. Um, we tried to keep the people on the phone, but, and we tried to mute them, but we were taking too long. Cause I told them, I was like, I'm gonna get, I tricked them. I tried to trick them. I still got played in the end. But I told them, I was like, yeah, like I'm gonna get the hundred dollar gift card, just wait on the phone. So we wanted them to wait so we get to the police station and then give the phone to the police and they could figure it out from there. But um, I kept the girl on hold for too long and, um, she was a foreign girl. She was another manager. I kept her on the phone for too long. So she just kept like talking, talking like, hello, like, did you get it yet? Did you get it yet? And it was like 30 minutes. And um, I got on the phone. I was like, can you chill out? She was like, she said, F you. And then hung up on me. Tried to call the number back again. The number didn't exist, y'all. The number didn't exist. So here I am. A broke college student all i had was like 400 500 dollars in my name my account has zero i'm 400 dollars. i owe my friend 50 dollars. my phone bills do i gotta buy books i gotta buy groceries and i don't have no money so i go to the other police station and um follow police report they tell me there's not really anything that they can do because i gave them consent um and i physically went and bought these gift cards and basically it's not like i can go in my account and record i mean i couldn't go in my account and like report those as like fraudulent activity because 
I physically went to the store and I physically bought all those gift cards and read off the numbers. So the crazy part about that is that was three years ago. That police report is still up at that station. I never got my money back. I was never able to contact them again. They said that um, they traced the phone number and the phone number existed over in like, I, I don't know where it was, but it was overseas, they said. And they were basically um, just saying like there was nothing that they could do. They were gonna try to do their best to get my money back. but there was honestly nothing that they could do so i never seen that 425 dollars again i did make sure i paid my best friend back but after that I got curious on like this little scam or whatever so i was like i started googling like the phone number and um different pieces to the situation and it pulled up all these other people like saying that they got scammed out of twenty thousand dollars with this gift card scam um they used all their life savings they used their kids college fund and it was a bunch of different companies that they like link their phone numbers to. They link their phone numbers to and just like scam people. And they be getting people. Like I said, they get younger people and they get um like elderly people because we're like really naive and stuff like that. Well, I was naive back then. Now, pff, you cannot scam me now. But second story, I got scammed. <laughs> I got scammed last year. So, but this is my um. This is my own fault, and I will say that I was stupid for doing this, right? Because I just be seeing money, and I just get wooed. So, this girl from the city, her name is Kiana, um, from where I live at. Uh, I've been friends with her on Snapchat for a while. I've seen, I've literally seen that she scammed half the city, and I still fell for this stuff. I still fell for it. I've seen that she scammed half the city. So, um, she was posting this thing on her Snapchat. It was like... <laughs> $10 to $150, $15 to $100, no, $10 to $100, uh, $15 to $150. I just kept going, going, going. And I didn't believe it at first. And then I seen her like posting screenshots and uh, text messages. And it looked legit, y'all. It looked real legit. So I'm like, all right, boom. Let me slide up. I got you with the 15. I got you with the 15. So we're talking whenever chopping up. I'm like, yeah, like so like what's up with this? She was like, I'm just flipping money. Um she was like, um, you can send me fifty and I can get you five thousand and I'm like, Okay, that sounds unrealistic. So I'm like, all right, let me play it safe. We could do fifteen to hundred and fifty. And she's like, All right, cool. Like just ca here's my cash out, cash out me fifteen, like, all right, boom. She's like, Cash out after you cash out of fifteen, wait twenty minutes and then I'm gonna hit you back up. Um, I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna hit you back up, tell you that everything has been verified and confirmed or whatever. And then I'm gonna cash up you to 150. I'm like, all right, cool. Send her to 15. Um, 20 minutes go by, 30 minutes go by, hour go by. She don't hit me and I forget about it. And then I thought about it, I'm like, oh, let me, let me go hit her up. I get on Snapchat, blocked. I get on Cash App, blocked. I get on Facebook, blocked. I get on Instagram, blocked. I get on Twitter, blocked. She has me blocked on everything. Over $15. $15. You really needed it that bad. And I could talk about this girl all day because I know a lot about her and the city talk about her all the time. But it's like $15, sis. $15. And I know I really shouldn't be mad at her $15, but just like why did you what did you do that for what's the point of doing that like i'm not understanding at all so yeah i'm blocked on everything i didn't even know she existed i thought she moved to a different state until my sister showed me her instagram the other day and i'm like oh okay she do nails now in the city she got like fifty thousand followers like she's doing her thing for real but now i know where she works so i'm gonna pop up in my 15 dollars period because i works hard for my money you work hard for your money, work hard to scam. But anyways, y'all, the world is wild and these scammers are very clever. And I just want y'all to be careful of what you believe on the internet, um, who you read information to. Don't be dumb like me if you're young and you're watching this. I know older, older people are going to be like, you're just stupid. You're just stupid. And it's okay. I'll be dumb, honey. I'll be dumb.
No, I'm sick. 400 bucks. God. And I don't, I didn't have anyone to give me the $400 back. Like, there wasn't nobody giving me money while I was in school. So, you know what I had to do? I had to pick up a job on campus and go home on the weekends and make my money back because I still had to pay for stuff. It's wild, y'all. And that's why home, like, criminal justice and homeland security is really interesting because this stuff happens all the time. And, like, as technology advances, scammers and hackers advance as well. So, it's, like, it's just crazy. But this was a super long video. I don't know if y'all are going to stay to watch the whole thing. But y'all already know what it is. And y'all already know what it ain't. And I will see y'all in my next video.